Hello, Russ Recaps here. Today I'm going to explain a 2011 Swedish drama film called Kiss Me. So without further ado, let's get into the video. The movie begins with Mia and Tim getting intimate in bed. The two are engaged and run a company together. Mia's father, Lasse, who is seen in the pool with his live-in girlfriend Elizabeth, has invited Mia and Tim to his 60th birthday party. Lasse has a younger son. Oscar, while Elizabeth has a daughter, Frida. Oscar tells Frida that Mia and Tim are going to be late to the party when they see their parents getting physical in the pool. Later, Mia and Tim arrive at the party, but instead of going in, they head out to smoke and meet Frida. At the party, Lasse is delivering a speech when Mia breaks the news of her and Tim getting engaged. According to Lasse, it was the best gift he had received, so he announced the news out loud and everyone at the party congratulated them. Soon after that, Frida got up to propose a toast to Lassie. Later, as Mia was dancing with her father, Tim was shaking a leg with Frida. Once again, Mia felt jealous to see them getting along so well. At one point, Mia couldn't hold it in any longer, so she confronted Tim about it. The two make up so Mia kisses Tim while looking at Frida to make sure that she gets off his back. The next morning, Mia was looking out her window when she saw Lassie and Frida having a conversation like a real father and daughter. This upsets Mia, so when Lassie asks her to go out for a walk with him, she says no. Lassie knows that Mia's upset, but he's not sure why. Lassie tells Mia that he needs her advice about an extension at his and Elizabeth's house. Hearing that, Mia agrees on the condition that she gets some alone time with her father. At breakfast, the topic of conversation is Mia and Tim's wedding. Mia is planning on wearing her mom's dress for her wedding. Later that day, Elizabeth tells Lassie that Mia is very different than she expected her to be. Lassie reveals she's more like her mother, while Oscar is more like him. Frida and Oscar are sitting by the pool goofing around and talking about Lassie's relationship with Elizabeth. Tim tells Mia that he isn't a fan of that old 70s dress, but if that's what makes her happy, he's okay with it. The next day, Mia and Frida are traveling together. Mia asks Frida if she and Oscar are dating, which leads to an uncomfortable conversation. Upon arrival, Frida apologized for her comment about Mia as they were going to share a room. However, the tension between them got stronger. Later, Elizabeth showed Mia the place they were planning to build the extension when she found out that Lassie had an urgent meeting and couldn't come. Mia calls Lassie to complain about leaving her alone on an island with people she doesn't even know. At night, Mia didn't show up for dinner so Frida went to check up on her. The two hung out together and went to watch deers. So while Frida was looking at the deers, Mia was intensely staring at Frida and eventually initiated a kiss. All of a sudden, Mia stopped and rushed back to the house. Inside her room, she is lost in deep thought. Regretful, she wanted to leave as soon as possible. So the next morning, she inquired if any ride was available. That could take her back, but unfortunately there wasn't. Later on, they go fishing, so while they are alone, Frida takes a chance to ask Mia why she kissed her, she then walks towards Mia and attempts to kiss her, but this time they are interrupted by Elizabeth walking in on them. As they are riding back home, Frida tells Elizabeth to go home as they go for a swim. There, Frida tells Mia that she's into girls and once again asks Mia why she kissed her. Mia, however, isn't sure why she did it. Mia is so confused about what's happening. She tells Frida that she loves Tim and walks off. Back in the room, Frida sits on the side of Mia's bed and touches her softly. She then lies next to her after kissing her intimately. Mia lets Frida pleasure her. Tears roll down Mia's eyes as the realization hits. The next morning, they are awakened by the sound of Elizabeth approaching so quickly they jump into separate beds. It's now time for them to leave the island, but since Frida's car won't start, Lasse and Tim pick them up. Tim tells Mia that 56 people have already RSVP'd for their wedding, but Mia just sat there in shock. Once they reach home, Frida asks Mia if she's mad at her. Mia tells Frida that even though she likes her a lot, 
she can't leave Tim for her since they have a whole life planned out together and leaves. Later, Lassie reveals that he didn't have a meeting. He left her alone with them just so she could get to know them better. But it was stupid. He also tells Mia that if she's only going to wear her mom's wedding dress to tease him, she should drop it right now because the divorce wasn't his fault, but a mutual decision. At lunch, Tim talks about how they're looking to buy a house together. Frida can't endure the conversation any longer. She goes back home saying she's feeling unwell. Turns out, Frida already has a girlfriend named Elin back at home. Lasse talks about the dress again, but this time he's rather concerned that Mia and Tim got into a fight. However, Mia tells him that she's just tired. Back in her room, Mia notices a hickey on her shoulder. It reminds her of Frida, so she quickly covers it up and started packing. Seeing Mia pack, Tim asks her about it. Mia tells him that she changed her mind about staying for a week and wants to go back home. Elizabeth finds Lasse sitting alone in his garden, lost in his thoughts, so she tells him that things would have been different if he cared more about his family than his orchid. Back at home, Tim notices the hickey on Mia's shoulder and asks about it, so she tells him that she walked into a branch and he believes her. Once again, Mia is overthinking the situation. The house hunting resumed, and a discussion about the house they visited turned into a heated argument. Tim apologized in the morning while he was looking at Oscar's social account. He went out to receive a call that gave Mia time to go through Frida's account, and she browsed through her pictures. On the other hand, Frida was watching a video of Mia from the birthday party. That's when Elin called her to bed, but Frida was just not feeling it. At this point, her partner knew something was going on. Frida confides in her mother about Mia. Elizabeth got furious and started yelling at Frida for developing an intimate relationship with Mia. She then asks Frida to come clean to Ilan. Frida hated doing it, but she ended things with Ilan who got frantic and started saying mean things to her. Frida's only defense was that she loves Mia. The scene changes to Mia and Oscar dining together. Oscar told Mia that Frida said hi and that she's currently in town. The next day, Elizabeth revealed the shocking news to Lassie. She told him Frida is in love with Mia, and Mia has feelings for her too. Lassie is baffled. He certainly does not believe that Mia is homosexual, and changes the topic. Elizabeth got offended and asked him if he finds it wrong or disgusting. Lassie's homophobic beliefs disappointed Elizabeth. Mia tried her mother's wedding dress on, but for some reason it made her feel suffocated, so she ripped it off her body. The next day she went to secretly look at Frida, who saw her and followed her out. Frida was so happy to see Mia, but she had to see the kids off, so she asked Mia to wait for her. Once she got back, Mia told Frida she wanted to run away with her, and they held each other tightly. They spend the rest of the day together, pleasuring each other. Frida jokingly alleges Mia of being with a girl before. Mia accepts it and tells Frida that she wasn't sure if she'd feel this way again. It was long before she met Tim, and that she has never cheated on him until now. Frida expresses her feelings that she doesn't want to be the person Mia cheats on Tim with. Instead, she wants to be with him all the time in a rightful relationship. Mia then suggests taking off and starting a new life somewhere else. However, Frida was appalled by the thought of running away. She thinks that she's an idiot for loving Mia when Mia is just three months away from getting married. Upon asking, Mia told her that she doesn't love Tim anymore, and they make love. Later that night, Frida was asleep with Mia received a call from Lasse. He tells Mia that he only wanted to hear her voice to make sure she's okay. The next morning, Mia comes up with another suggestion. She thinks that the two of them should just live alone on the island, but Frida doesn't want to live like that either. Mia is too scared of what people might think of her, or say, and she wants Frida to understand that. Frida, however, tells Mia that she's proud of who she is, and wants to show the world how much she loves her. The scene changes to Frida dropping Mia off, so while Frida was seeing her off when a kiss on the lips, Tim and Oscar, who were driving around the same neighborhood, saw them. On the other hand, Lasse makes peace with the fact that his daughter might be a lesbian. He tells Elizabeth that he thinks he has always known about Mia 
but didn't dare to admit it. Back at Tim and Mia's place, Tim stays silent about what he saw and approaches her by kissing her neck. So when Mia shrudges him off, he forces himself on her, but then stops. The next morning, the two of them are back at work. Mia tells Tim that she has some errands to run, when in reality, she's going to meet Frida. Tim reminds her of their meeting with the priest. So while Frida was waiting for Mia, she was practicing her wedding vows. At one point, Mia just couldn't fake it anymore. So she told Tim that she can't marry him and ran away from the church to see Frida. Frida was about to leave when she heard Mia calling for her. Mia ran towards her to tell her that she loves her. But Frida believes what happened today is always going to happen since Mia is not done with Tim or the life she has with him. She needs to wake up from her dream. And she just did. Mia begged her to stop, but she left anyways. Meanwhile, back at the office, Tim is playing with his wedding invitations, worried about what he's going to say to his families and friends. He believes they should tell everyone that Mia is a lesbian. Upon asking, he tells Mia that he saw her and Frida kissing. Mia apologizes to him for finding it out this way, and Tim asks her to leave. Both Mia and Frida were out on the streets crying. Mia then meets Lasse and asks him if he's ashamed of her. He tells her that he just wants her to be happy and healthy, but then proceeds to ask why Frida. All Mia can say is that she loves her. Mia goes back to gather all her stuff and move out, while Tim sits there in tears. Mia goes to Frida's old apartment, but finds Elin there, who is reluctant to tell her the whereabouts of Frida. So the only option left is to ask Elizabeth. Elizabeth told Mia that Frida needs peace to heal, but since Mia was persistent, she tells her, and they hug each other for the first time. Mia rushes to the airport to find Frida, but her flight took off before she reached there. The scene changes to Mia wandering around the streets of Barcelona, trying to find Frida. So finally, she found Frida and stood beside her quietly. Frida saw her and the two smiled at each other, and the movie ends. That's all for today. Please subscribe to see more videos like this and leave a like to help the channel out. Thanks for watching.